Hello! In this video I am going to discuss the differences between yay and u and tell you which one I would use for a couple of situations. There are two reasons for this video. The first one is that a couple of days ago I got a message from an Australian girl who asked me what I thought about the whole yay u thing. And the second reason is this video, which I will link right here. It's a video made by a girl who is half Dutch, half American. Um, I believe her name is Natalie. And she made a couple of videos about the Dutch language and how it relates to English and how it is for English speakers to learn Dutch. But anyway, in this video right here, she talks about the yay u thing. So I thought I would address that too. Um, you should probably go watch her video first because I'm gonna talk about that a lot. Yay and u are both ways of saying you in Dutch. So that's yay. Yay, which we shorten a lot to je. Je. Saying je is actually more common when you say yay, it really stresses that you mean you. And u is the polite form of saying you. U. U. I have noticed that in a lot of courses and programs and stuff that teaches people Dutch, they use u as the most normal or common form of addressing a person. But that is actually not true. It's just kind of overly polite. I believe that you used to have this in English 400, 500 years ago, where thou was the informal way of saying you and you was the formal way of saying you. But I'm not 100% sure about this, so yeah. Okay, back to the u and yay. So in this video, Natalie asks all of her viewers to tell her whether they would say je or u in seven different situations. So I'm going to talk about all of these right now. But you need to keep in mind that this is just what I do. So it doesn't mean that everyone does this. The first situation was if a stranger holds a door open for you. This completely depends on the stranger. The issue in this case is whether you would say dank je or dank u. One being informal and the other one being formal. I usually just say bedankt to avoid having to choose either one. But if I had to choose one, it would definitely depend on the stranger. If the stranger is under 30 or 40 years old, I would definitely say je. And if the stranger is over 50, I would say u probably. But I guess it would definitely depend on kind of how they're dressed and stuff like that too. So if someone looks really conservative or religious, it would be way more likely for me to say u than if they seem really relaxed or hippie-like or... You know? I guess to stay on the safe side it would be better to say u since the other person is doing something polite. But really it doesn't matter that much. I mean it's the thought that counts and not being exactly right. I doubt that a lot of people are going to actually care whether you say u or yai in this case because it's all so quick and you're never gonna see them again anyway. The second situation was talking to a teacher during class. I always refer to my teachers as u. This was in high school, by the way. Not everyone does that. There are some boys, mostly, who say yai or ye to teachers. And there are a lot of teachers who are totally fine with this. But I still prefer calling them u. Side note, I also refer to my teachers as u when we're not in class. Like when I randomly run into my teacher in the city center or something. So yeah, definitely call teachers, professors, u. Always. It's never wrong, really. Third one is your parents. I don't refer to my parents as u ever. I'm pretty sure that my mom doesn't say u to her parents either. This has changed a lot over the past... 50 years or so. So that's why most older people are still used to being called u and still really appreciate it when you do that. But people my mom's age, which is 50-ish year old, are kind of in a gray zone where some people are insulted when you call them u because it makes them feel old and some people are insulted when you don't call them u because it's not respectful. Fourth one was in a restaurant talking to a waiter. I wouldn't say u to a waiter or a waitress, especially not when they're under 30 and walking around being all hip and cool. If someone clearly owned the restaurant and was over 40, you know, I would probably say u, but otherwise not. If I started working as a waitress though, I would definitely, definitely say u to all the customers. Five, at the office. 
I'm just going to ask my dad what he does and then I'll report back. Okay, my dad says that they always, always refer to each other as yay and you. They might say u for like a minute when meeting new clients or new people that they're going to talk with, but then they stop and just say yay or you. The sixth one is on YouTube. I would never, ever, ever say u to anyone on YouTube. It's clever though that you thought of that because I would have never even thought about calling anyone on YouTube ooh. This is mostly due to the fact that everyone on YouTube is young. And the final question was, in what situation would I be offended if people didn't say ooh to me? I would never be offended. Nope. Ooh is just not as common anymore as it used to be. And I'm pretty sure we use it way less than they use it in Germany, for example. My final message is that it doesn't really matter. People don't really care that much. Say U to older people and ja and you to younger people. And keep in mind that people are going to hear that you're foreign, so they're going to care even less probably because they know it's extra difficult. I guess this is the end. Doch.